Okay, so I'm reading a question straight out of a textbook. Um, we're asked to um, find the dimensions of a new tin can that must have a volume equal to one litre. Um, that uses the smallest amount of aluminium possible. So we need one that has a volume of one litre and has a surface area which is minimised. Alright, so the equation which we'll be looking to minimise is the surface area of a cylinder. which is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi 2 pi r h now you'll see that this function here is in terms of two variables the radius and the height so what we're going to have to do is we have to find another equation that we can substitute for one of the variables so we can make the surface area in terms of only one variable. So the other equation we're going to use is going to take into account this volume that they give us. Now the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h and we know this has to be equal to one litre which is one thousand cubic centimetres cool so once we've done that we can then rearrange this so it's in terms of height and then we can substitute it in for height in the initial equation so what we can do is we can go all right we know that height's going to equal 1000 divided by pi r squared and now we have this we can substitute it into our surface area equation so we can get this and substitute it in for height in this and so we're going to have the surface area will be equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi plus 2 pi uh, now h is no longer h, it's going to be this, 1000 divided by pi r squared. Now this end part of our surface area equation can be simplified because we're timesing this by this fraction. One of this is going to cancel out with that and the pi's will also cancel so that's going to just leave us with surface area is going to equal 2 pi r squared plus 2000 over, pi, over r Okay, so once we've got this, we then have, we've got our surface area in terms of only one variable, which is the radius, we have to optimise this. So to optimise, we're looking for when the derivative of surface area in terms of radius 
is equal to zero. So this is what we're looking for. Cool. So what we do is we're going to take the derivative and before we do that, I usually will move the R up the top so we can just do a straight differentiation. Now when we do that, we're just going to make use of the index law. Um, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. And we, as a result, then we can change this up a little bit and have surface area is equal to two pi r squared plus two thousand r to the negative one. So we take the derivative of this. Now I'm assuming that you guys know how to take a straight derivative. It's going to be cool. And this obviously then looks like this. Cool bananas. Now, what we have to do is to optimize this, we have to make this equal to zero. And then we have to solve this for the radius. So we'll give myself a bit more space. I will begin working up here. So because this is a negative, we can take it over to the other side. It'll be a positive, so we can just make four pi r equal to 2000 over r squared. Then we can move the r. This is pretty simple algebra here. We can just move the r squared over to there and then we can divide both sides by 4 pi. Cool. And what that does is it leaves us with two thousand over four pi, which is just can be simplified to 2000 divided by 4, which is 500 over pi. And then we can cube root both sides. So that's the exact value. And let me just work it out in my calculator right now. That's approximately equal to 5.42. That would be in centimeters. Cool, so we were asked to find the dimensions. So there are only two dimensions when we have a look at finding this. We have the radius and the height. So we've got the radius, now we have to just find the height. So to find the height, we just plug the number that we've just been given, or what we've just found out, sorry, into this equation, and it's going to give us height. So let's have a go at that. So the height then 
is going to be equal to 1000 divided by pi times the radius that we've found squared and I'll just type this on my calculator and this gives us a height that's approximately equal to 10.84 centimeters. Now it doesn't ask us to find anything else, it doesn't ask us to find what the surface area is, but now that you have these two values, now that you have the radius and you have the height, if you're that way inclined and you want to find out what the actual surface area of material you're going to need is, you can just plug these two values into this equation and you can get yourself the surface area as well. I uh, hope that helps.